morning, everyone. And if you'd remember to turn your cell phones to vibrate or off, that would be ideal. Thank you. And Gavin, I'm going to gavel in an informational hearing on the Oregon Military Families Task Force, House Bill 3391 from 2011. And go ahead and call up ODVA Director Cameron Smith and State Family Program Director for the National Guard, Michelle. Thank you. <laughs> Please identify yourself for the record. And Good morning, Vice Chair. Good evening, Vice Chair Parrish and members of the committee. For the record, I am Cameron Smith, the Director of the Oregon Department of Veterans Affairs. Good morning, Vice Chair Kagan, Vice Chair Parrish. My name is Michelle Kachowski, and I'm the Oregon National Guard State Family Program Director. So it is great to have you all back in the building and great to be before you today to give you an update on the Oregon Military Task Force. Uh, and driving down uh, today, I was thinking, um, yesterday we had uh, so many military uniforms in the Senate veterans uh, on some great briefs from the Oregon National Guard, and it was led by General Hopkinson. And driving down today, I was thinking of who we celebrate as our heroes, uh, and who we recognize, uh, and who we celebrate. Um, and our new Adjutant General, General Hopkinson, has an amazing story, grew up in Happy Camp, uh, went to West Point, Air Cav, before joining the Oregon National Guard, over 100 air rescue firefighting missions. He's commanded at every level, um, from company battalions to brigade, led the largest deployment of the Oregon National Guard since World War II in 2009-2010 uh, to Iraq with the 41st Infantry Brigade. He's been a chief of staff of Task Force, uh, Task Force Phoenix in Afghanistan, led back in the Guard Bureau, a two-star general, um, and now our uh, adjutant general. And it is a resume that can make you feel bad about yourself. <laughs> uh, but I think the saving grace uh, is that he did not do it alone. Uh, and when the governor selected the uh, General Hopkinson as the adjutant general, I think both Michelle and I agree that his better half, uh, Ms. Kelly Hopkinson, um, an amazing woman uh, who has held down the home front and been that rock for him throughout all of his career, uh, raised three amazing children, two of whom are back at West Point now, following in their father's footsteps. Um, just an amazing family, and I think epitomizes what our military families are, from the top at the Oregon National Guard, but all the way down through um, across the active duty the guard to reserves. Um, just amazing stories um, of our military families, but they are the unsung heroes. They don't wear the uniform, they don't get the awards, uh, they don't get the medals. Um, so this task force was really how do we make sure we're just not honoring our military families at the end of a career, um, forgetting them, but really looking hard uh, what we can do to support them throughout their efforts? 